What if the next generation of motorcycles didn't roar but whispered? What if it could fly past without a single drop of fuel and still leave jaws on the floor? Kawasaki's latest creation, the Call Rio, isn't just a motorcycle, it's a message. A bold declaration that the future isn't approaching. It has already arrived. In early 2025, Kawasaki did something unusual, something deliberately mysterious. They dropped a 20-second teaser video online. No specs, no sound. Just a sleek silhouette in a dimly lit tunnel, glowing green streaks running across a barely visible chassis, and one word pulsing on the screen, Corio. That's it, no context, no voiceover, no confirmation if it was even a bike. Naturally, the internet exploded. Motorcycle forums, tech blogs, and YouTube breakdowns went into detective mode. Some believed it was Kawasaki's entry into the electric bike market. Others swore it had to be AI integrated. A few dared to imagine something even crazier. Was it flying? Could this be Kawasaki's leap into hover technology? Speculation wasn't random. It was built on Kawasaki's reputation for innovation. This is the same company that shocked the industry with the Ninja H2, a supercharged monster that proved street bikes could still have secrets. The same brand that made history with the Z1 in the 70s. So when they release something with no engine sound and a name that sounds like it came from a sci-fi movie, people pay attention. Fans knew this wasn't just another launch. It felt like the calm before a category-shifting storm. Whatever Call Rio was, it wasn't playing by the old rules. It was something new, and it had everyone watching. After weeks of wild speculation, Kawasaki finally broke the silence with a launch event that felt more like a tech keynote than a motorcycle reveal. Fog machines, synchronized lighting, and ambient synth music. Then came the big reveal. Call Rio stands for Composite Light Ride Engine Optimization, a name that's as futuristic as the machine itself. So, what exactly is it? First off, yes, it's a motorcycle, a fully functional one, not just a concept sculpted for a showroom floor. But here's the twist. Call Rio blurs the line between a production bike and a prototype from the future. Is it street legal? In select markets, yes. Globally? That depends on evolving EV and hybrid regulations. Visually, the Call Rio looks like something out of a cyberpunk racing game. It's low slung, almost floating. The panels don't seem bolted on, they hover. That's thanks to a layered aerodynamic skin, which adjusts shape depending on speed and wind resistance. Its frame is crafted from a hyper-light composite carbon that Kawasaki claims is stronger than titanium, but half the weight. Embedded throughout the body are OLED display strips, not just for aesthetic flair, but also functional indicators for speed, power mode, and AI alerts. The initial release includes three color schemes, obsidian black, neon pulse green, and a limited edition plasma chrome, which shifts color in different lighting. Launch photos reveal glowing accents a zero dashboard cockpit, and side mirrors replaced by rear view cameras. The message was clear. This isn't just a bike. It's a redefinition of what a motorcycle can look like and how it can interact with its rider. And we've only just scratched the surface. Just when the world thought it had Call Rio figured out, bam, Kawasaki dropped the biggest twist yet. While rivals like Tesla, Damon, and Livewire push full electric, Kawasaki's Call Rio takes a bold detour betting on hybrid intelligence instead. Blending power, AI, and sustainability, it offers flexibility over range anxiety. This isn't just a bike, it's a pivot moment, much like the Ninja 900 in 1984. Col Rio rewrites the rules for a changing world, balancing performance with purpose. It doesn't kill combustion, it evolves it. And with onboard AI that learns your habits and terrain, you're not just riding, you're connected. As the industry scrambles to keep up, one thing's clear. With Call Rio, the future isn't coming, it just passed you. Here's how it works. The bike comes with modular, swappable battery packs that power it in silent, zero-emission electric mode, ideal for city commutes or short rides. But tucked discreetly beneath the core chassis is a micro-combustion chamber, running on a highly efficient, low-emission fuel blend. This kicks in automatically when you're running low on charge or cruising long distances. Translation, you don't need to worry about charging stations in the middle of nowhere, and you don't need to burn fuel in bumper-to-bumper -bumper city traffic. Kawasaki packaged this hybrid genius under the tagline, Ride Anywhere. And it's not just marketing fluff. 
The Col Rio actively shifts between energy sources based on terrain, rider behavior, and trip length because of a predictive AI that calculates energy use on the fly. Whether you're gliding through quiet suburban lanes or tearing through dusty back roads, Colrio adapts. It's a machine that doesn't just move, you could say it thinks. And this dual soul, half electric, half combustion, is what sets it miles ahead of the competition. While others are stuck choosing sides, Kawasaki's Colrio is playing both. If the powertrain was Colrio's heart, then its brain is something far more advanced and unsettlingly clever. Meet KIRA, Kawasaki's onboard AI that doesn't just assist, it adapts. Within a few rides, it learns your braking habits, cornering style, and even your reaction to sudden rain. It's constantly analyzing real-time data, battery, terrain, and weather, and adjusting your ride accordingly. Voice commands, of course. And with a minimalist HUD visor, you never have to look down. But all that tech means nothing if the ride isn't thrilling. Early leaked footage showed Colrio hitting zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.8 seconds, with test riders calling it buttery but ballistic. Lightweight graphene panels and magnetic suspension make it feel fast, fluid, and freakishly smooth. Colrio's suspension uses self-adjusting dampers with magnetorheological fluid, adapting in real time to terrain, lean angle, and even your heart rate. It corners like it's on rails and glides over potholes effortlessly. Beyond performance, it's eco-forward. 90% recyclable parts, reduced rare earth use, and customizable engine sounds. Silent or vintage roar. It's not just a superbike, it's Kawasaki's bold leap into a cleaner, smarter future. Kawasaki announced that only 3,000 units would be released in phase one, with distribution limited to Japan, parts of Europe, and a handful of ultra-modern cities like Singapore and Dubai. It wasn't just a launch, it was a lottery. And the price? An estimated 10 to 12 lakhs rupees in India, or around $12,000 to $14,000 globally. Not outrageous for what's essentially a sci-fi superbike, but high enough to keep it in premium territory. The response? Absolute chaos. Within hours of pre-orders opening, Kawasaki's official site crashed under heavy traffic. Social media was flooded with frustrated fans. Scalpers started flipping slots for double the price, and waiting lists stretched into months. Kawasaki called it the most overwhelming demand for a new model in company history. Adding fuel to the fire, a special edition Colrio was teased in a stunning retro Kawasaki green with chrome detailing and exclusive software features. No word yet on how many units will exist or if they'll ever be available outside Japan. For Indian riders, hope isn't lost. An official launch is expected by quarter one, 2026. But with demand soaring, you might want to start saving now. With the Colrio, Kawasaki didn't just launch a bike, they fired a warning shot across the entire motorcycle industry. While rivals like Tesla, Damon, and Livewire push full electric, Kawasaki's Colrio takes a bold detour betting on hybrid intelligence instead. Blending power, AI, and sustainability, it offers flexibility over range anxiety. This isn't just a bike, it's a pivot moment, much like the Ninja 900 in 1984. Colrio rewrites the rules for a changing world, balancing performance with purpose. It doesn't kill combustion, it evolves it. And with onboard AI that learns your habits and terrain, you're not just riding, you're connected as the industry. But here's the real question. Would you ride something that watches how you brake? That might outthink you mid-turn? Let's hear it in the comments. Is this the kind of ride you've been waiting for or is it too smart for its own good? One thing's for sure. After Call Rio, there's no going back. The future of riding is here and that's all about it. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you like more updates, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos and get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give suggestions for our videos. See you in the next one.